Michael Hilton back on the channel. And if you don't know, he's had an amazing summer. And I asked him to come back on to share his summer journey. He's accomplished a lot, and he's here today. What's up, Michael? Hey, how are you doing, Duan? So since last time we talked, I've gotten four certifications by CompTIA. And lots of new things have been going on besides that. Um, one thing for sure is I got an internship with David Bombo helping him produce content. Oh man, that's amazing with the four certifications. So what four certifications did you achieve this summer? So I got the ITF, the A plus, network plus and security plus. Whoa, that's okay. So of those certifications, which one you feel um, was the hardest and you feel you had to dive in and learn the most? So really because uh, what I've done so far is a lot of networking specific, but not much of network security. I believe the hardest certification for me that I had to study for was the Security Plus, mainly because a lot of security topics were new to me. Okay, that's awesome, awesome. So how, how do you like the CompTIA's um, exam approach compared to the Cisco approach, seeing how you do have your CCNA? Well, one thing for sure I like about the CompTIA exams is that they allow you to skip questions and go back to them, um, which is something Cisco doesn't have. And that, that's really the, the really big difference about them. Um, the CompTIA exams are worded a bit more differently, whereas Cisco goes a lot more specific in depth, a lot more trivia, trivial type content. Right. But um, CompTIA is more of, do you know what this is and do you know how to implement it in a way? That's cool, that's cool. Man, well, congratulations. And you just had a birthday, so happy birthday also. Thank you. Yes, sir. So now you're working with David Bumble. That's awesome. How's that going? So that's going good. Um, I started uh, today helping him make some uh, some lab stuff for some new upcoming courses that he's going to have. Um, and that's really what I'm working on right now. Also, possibly some quiz content and just anything that he has for me that I could work on. Um, that's cool. That's excellent. So with that being said, would you learn, um, starting to create content and work with David Bomber, will you create your own YouTube channel? That's something that I possibly will do. Um, I mentioned a long time ago that I would probably make a video on spanning tree protocol. And that's probably something that I'll try to do first on YouTube, try to create a, a video on that, uh, the way that you know, I don't know if you've seen like Eli, the computer guy, his older videos where he had a whiteboard and started right. doing out things and, you know, explaining things. Um, and, I, and I like that teaching style. Go ahead. No, that'd be great. That's awesome. I mean, I'm excited. When you do, let me know and I'll share it out and do whatever I can to help you, you know, get out there. Let, let me ask you. So now you're back in school. School started. Summer's over. Are you still working on certification? How are you balancing school and certifications? So that's a good question. So yes, yeah, school's back in session. Uh, my homework varies a lot. So really depending on that, what I've done uh, specifically more now compared to other years is that I have schoolwork and homework as a top priority. So I usually don't start working on anything else until I finish school. And usually that, uh, unless I get projects, that usually doesn't take me too, too long. And I continue. Um, but right now I'm studying for the CCNP. So the switch exam is first. Right. I plan to test on it um, late October, um, but yeah, balancing that and of course uh, with the internship type work, um, I'll, I'll be working as in one day I'll work and then next day I'll study, uh, given of course that I finish my homework and class assignments, but that's, that's the main way I balance all of uh, what I do. Okay. So I know for me, when I was in high school, um, English was, I would say, took the most amount of time, and then geometry. Other than that, it wasn't, you know, that difficult for me. Now, for you, what classes in high school um, require your most focus? So, um, currently, I think biology, uh, mainly because it takes a lot of memorization. Right. Uh, of course, once you get it down and you understand the topics, um, but besides that, just uh, sometimes a lot of information gets thrown at you. So I think biology is the hardest uh, right now. Well, not really the hardest, but most time consuming that is. Correct. Um, also, maybe if 
they, the teachers join some type of project or art project, especially uh, like the ones like in the beginning of the school year, like describing yourself and like drawing like what you like to do. Um, that, that probably takes a uh, second most thing that takes a lot of time. But besides that, everything else uh, is pretty good. I mean, not too, too much homework, but it's done. That's cool, man. That's cool. Okay, so you're on social media. You're you're growing. I know you're getting followers on Twitter. You're on LinkedIn. How is that helping you um, currently you, with the different um, platforms? All right. So mainly because of that, uh, of course, I've gathered a lot of attention. Um, of course, um, that was first uh, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter was. One of the first ways I've communicated with you and also with like people like David Bombo and mainly because of posting my successes online and what I what I'm studying helped me get a lot of attention and of course get me interviews like with you and David and and even now a uh, internship with David. Right. Okay, that's awesome. So how how do you like LinkedIn versus Twitter? Um are, how do you actually use it? Do you use it for posting or your accomplishments, or are you going to focus on posting content? How do you plan to use it to set you up for the future? All right, so I, I think I enjoy Twitter a lot more. Um, since Twitter is a lot more informal, so I could be posting my thoughts on what I think of something, not really certification related. And of course, I post like my progress and uh, certification progresses once I pass uh, take an exam on Twitter. And LinkedIn, I have it more towards uh, more professional stuff like what I'm studying and what I've accomplished and a little bit of my personal life, but not as much compared to Twitter. And I also like how in both environments I get to interact with people if they have a question like what study materials that I use or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I really like, um, I've heard, and yeah, I've seen examples where because of Twitter or LinkedIn or other social media sites, people have gotten uh, jobs because of posting their progress and what they've been doing. So that, that's really uh, what I like about social media is interacting with others and posting your progress to help you more towards the future. Okay, so my last question, what's next for you, Michael? All right. So of course, uh, mentioned uh, internship. Um, so right now, of course, like I mentioned earlier, I'm working on the CCNP switch. So right now, currently, my what I have in mind is working on my CCNP uh, switch first, route, T-shoot. So of course, first CCNP. And then I want to also pursue a design track. So I, I really like network architecture. So possibly after that, like CCDA and CCDP, then like stuff like CCNA collaboration or security. Um, and that, that's kind of that's kind of what I have in mind for the future um, in terms of certifications. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, man, you have a bright future ahead of you. Uh, I really do. Thank you for coming on the channel. Is there anything you want to say before we um, get out of here? Um, nothing much. I mean, besides that, just shout out to everyone that's helped me, uh, my mentor, Del McKay, uh, my family, of course, and everyone in general, and uh, especially uh, you giving me the opportunity to be on your channel again. Uh, no problem, man. I'm so glad you took the time out your day to come on. I know you're busy with, with school and certifications, helping David Bumble. Um, Salute to you, man. And I thank you. And I commend your family once again for raising an awesome child. You're awesome, Michael. Thank you, man. Thank you.